The fact that you're here on January 7th, this race isn't until November, but you are here in this number on January 7th really gives me energy and enthusiasm. And I know you're here because of the Senate race, but I also know you're here because Virginia is a presidential battleground. We're going to win Virginia for our president again. We're going to win. You know, maybe that's a good place to start in a presidential year in Virginia. For an awful long time, we were irrelevant in presidential politics in Virginia. Nobody bothered with Virginia. Republican candidates knew they would win, so they didn't need to come. And Democratic candidates knew they would lose, so why bother coming? But now Virginia is where we used to be, like back in the 1700s and 1800s. We're right at the center of the action. We're right on stage with the spotlight on us. After 2008, Virginia is one of the four or five key battleground states in the country that everybody looks at. And that's because of all the work that we've done, people in this room and people in the rooms like this all over the Commonwealth. We've made our state one of the competitive states that people want to figure out, well, what's Virginia going to do? And I like being back in the spotlight as a state. I tell my friends who are Republicans, you're better off living in a state that is a battleground state where the candidates have to come and, and come to your communities and give speeches and really try to persuade you than just being in one of these states where it used to be taken for granted. So that's something I'm really thankful for. And that's one of the reasons I know that we've got such a good crowd here today, because we know it's going to be a big, challenging year. But you know what? I think 2012 is going to be a very, very good year for us here in Virginia.